Dear Mr. Timothy J. Mayopoulos, President and CEO of Fannie Mae, COHIF, the Coalition for Occupied Homes and Foreclosure, a nonprofit organization based here in Boston, Mass., wants to purchase five properties from Fannie Mae, 49 Speedwell, 35 Frock Street, 193-195 Norwell Street, 19 Billado Street, and 1517 Rosaria Street, all located in Dorchester, Mass. COHIF will put these homes on a community land trust and create permanently affordable housing. Why would Fannie Mae attempt to auction off these occupied homes when a nonprofit organization is able to make a purchase at an affordable price? Why does Fannie Mae insist on seeking exorbitant profits while aiding and abetting and the gentrification of our neighborhoods. Why isn't FHFA holding them fully accountable? Because in November 2014, FHFA directed Fannie Mae to change policy and work with nonprofits to find better solutions for dealing with this issue. So here's an example of how they're dealing with this issue. 35 Fox Street, 49 Speedwell, and 193-195 Norwell Street, all in Dorchester, Mass., have all had offers submitted by COHIF. Offers that have been well above the starting bid amount on auction.com, and today they even lowered the starting bid amount from last week's posting on auction.com. All the while, Fannie Mae has continued to reject negotiations with COHIF, stating that COHIF's offers are too far apart from fair market value. We call on Fannie Mae to work with local, state, elected officials, community members, and COHIF to put an end to these unnecessary evictions and auctions and keep families in their homes that were hard hit by the foreclosure crisis. Hola, señor Mayor Polo. Mi nombre es Domingo Franco. Soy el anterior dueño de la propiedad ubicada en la 49 de la Speedwell Street in Dorchester, Massachusetts, 02122, donde actualmente estoy viviendo. Llamo, hago un llamado a Fannie Mae y a todos los directivos de esa, de, de esa entidad para que pare la subasta de mi propiedad eh, que tienen publicada en Option.com y permitan a Fannie Mae que compre dicha propiedad para yo permanecer en ella. Prometo hacer una resistencia férrea y prometo también participar fuertemente en el bloqueo de mi desalojo, si es necesario. Usted tiene la palabra. We call on Fannie Mae to take this property of um, auction.com and stop the evictions and actions while COHEF, a non-profit, ne negotiates a, pur uh, a purchase. Hi, Mr. Mayor Mayopoulos. I'm a member of City Life in Boston. I live at 438 Talbot Avenue, Dorchester, Mass. I am not a funny me borrower, but like many, I am against funny me policy of auction and eviction because it's gentrifying my community. Like many other families, I would like for COHIF to purchase my home and keep it at an affordable rent for the rest of my life. I plan to die in 2030, so the rest of my life, not long. COHIF is trying to create permanently affordable housing in our neighborhoods. And we vow to come out and support these families because the whole family may be responsible, even if investors has purchased our houses. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mayor Police. As a tenant, we have the right under Massachusetts law to rent. Fenime is undermined the law by selling to an investor who is not bound by on that law as the second push us. An investor came by my home over the weekend and informed me that she just pushed us on the property on auction.com and she is the new owner. Fannie Mae refused to tell me anything further about this. 
Yes. Are you willing to fight to stay in your home? Yes, yes we are. Yes, we are. Are you willing to fight up to eviction blockade? Yes, yes we, we are. are. And guess what? What? Yeah.